Hello guys, so today I'm going to be talking about like a rather funny experience that I had today. Um, so, have you ever, okay, so first of all, do you play an instrument? If you do, then, yeah. So I was at my piano recital today, and it was pretty fun, yeah, except it was like nervous. So, let's, um, I'll give you the whole play-by-play -play through the story. So, ten hours before, oh sorry, not ten hours before, like maybe three hours before, we actually started going so what happened was my mom's like okay brandon get ready because you're always known for being late when it's like the exact time that you're supposed to be there and yeah when we say brandon get ready in the car you were like on your bed playing games and we're always late so she said to get ready so i'm like Heck no. So, yeah. I think you can see how that went for me. I mean, let's just say my dad reminded me like 30 minutes before saying, Okay, we need to get ready. So I put on a car shirt, and then he's like, Well, it's a costume recital, and I was playing the song Rushy. So I'm like, what do I dress up as? And I start showing my dad pics of this, like these like um, images. I'm like, take this thing on my back. Take this image on my back after you print it in the printer. He's like, okay, good idea. So he gets the tape, and then he tapes a literal E on my back. I'm like, tape an image on my back, not a black E on my back. <laughs> I mean, with a light shirt, do I really want something like that popping out? Like, you know what I mean? It's kind of weird just having three black E's on my shirt, two on my shoulders, and one on my back, I'll, um, here's a picture of it, right here. I mean, isn't that kind of weird? This is, well, that's me, with my hat on too, about the hat, the hat, it looks like a water droplet, yeah, I think you get what I mean, so anyways, here I am, like, are you actually gonna make me dress up with this like taped thing <laughs> why and it was like so weird i felt like it was like w right when i walked in that room like oh shoot <laughs> and then everybody's like looking at me like um is there like a duct tape e on my back that's what i'd be thinking in my mind then so while playing the piano so what you gotta know is when i'm playing this piano when i'm playing the piano i'm doing a duet with my teacher i'll show you the video of us playing at the end but anyways so i sit down i'm probably like the 10th person in line to play and I said everybody the f when someone goes the f next three people have to go up like for example the first three people line up the first person walks on the stage the two people scoot up one line and then the next person goes in the back if that makes any sense so anyways i'm the 10th person so after I, I i start to get nervous and then i'm like okay why am i getting nervous so when it's finally finally time for me to go up i go I go on stage, and then, sorry, I go on the three seats, I go on the third seat, and then the, I'm just, like, waiting, and I see my piano teacher helping almost every single kid out, because, yeah, they, she, he probably does a lot of duets, and then, here comes this kid playing the violin, I think it was right, right when I was doing that, so when the kid's playing violin, I'm like, okay, I'm just one out of many, the crowd's not gonna look at me funny. When it's finally my t turn, or, yeah, I walk up on stage, and then I see my teacher just, like, waiting there. And she says, right right before he said, when that, um, when the student walks off, you can walk on. So I walked on, and I said, hi, my name is Brandon, and I'm going to be playing Rushy. And the whole crowd clapped. I'm like, okay, this is not too bad. And then that's when it all started okay i go up on st i go up on the piano and then i touch some of the higher keys holy moly or it, sorry i just look at them I'm like what the heck these things are like pressed down all the way so if you even tried to press it it just wouldn't work so i go on the keyboard and i start playing away i start off with the e the classical e and then 
Here's the funny part, okay? Later through the song, when I start trying to tap the higher keys that are, like, broken, that's when it all hit me. These things are, like, the worst keys. Okay, imagine this, okay? How do I... Okay, imagine this. Like, the top quarter... The... You know how the keyboard has like two sides? No, it doesn't have two sides, but it has a bunch of notes. The higher, imagine splitting the keyboard into four parts, four equal parts. And the part that's on the higher side, the highest side, that part was pretty much broken. All the keys were pressed down to the point where if you tried to press it, then it wouldn't do anything. It would just stay down there. So here I am playing the last few notes. Da 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 da. And you can only hear this. Like, barely, to the point where you couldn't even hear this. Which just ruined the whole thing, kind of. I mean, you can still hear it, it's fine. Although, it's like, wow. So, after I get off stage, I miss a couple notes, because I'm like, shoot, I just forget this whole thing. And then I go off stage, I s Vince wants me to high-five him, so I high-five him. And then I go to the seat where I was sitting, and my parents are like, oh, good job, Brandon. I'm like... Uh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> and the funniest part about this experience is, when I was, like, on the third seat, about to go up, <clears throat> there's I heard this kid in the background saying, looking at the sheets that has everybody's name and song on it, saying, Oh my gosh, some kid's gonna be playing Rushy. I feel like I just let him down. Anyways, thanks. Bye.